Good morning everyone. So today we are going to see about the significance of vacuum balancing line in a batch distillation system. So I have prepared the PIDs of both conventional mode and the batch distillation system with active vacuum balancing line. So first of all we will go through the batch distillation system which is designed in conventional mode. So to understand the concept better, first of all we need to check how the vacuum flows into the system and where exactly the vacuum is going to be high and what is the uh, ascending or descending order for this vacuum so that we need to understand. So this is a dry screw pump and for this dry screw pump we got two traps. One is the pre-condensing trap and the second one is a post-condensing trap. So to knock out the uncondensed vapors we got a flame arrester. So initially the vacuum is going to get generated near this dry screw vacuum pump and then it goes through the pre-condensing trap and then so the vacuum enters into the receiver. So from this uh, distillate collection receiver so the vacuum will be coming into this both condenser simultaneously and then the vacuum is going to enter into the reactor or it is going to be generated inside the reactor through the vapor line. So this is the flow. And during the course of distillation what happens is under vacuum the vapor is going to generate under reduced pressure. So reduced pressure in the sense below atmospheric conditions. And the vacuum is going to flow through this vapor line. So initially it is going to get condensed in the primary condenser and then the uncondensed vapors are going to flow into the secondary condenser. So the distillate is going to flow through this collection line, the common collection line and it is going to enter into the receiver. So while the distillate uh, which is condensed in the condensers gets flow from the condensers into the receiver so there is a collection line like a straight collection line what happens is during the course of collection a pressure is going to get generated due to this position like the condensers are going to be positioned at higher level compared to the receiver and due to this difference in heights what happens is there will be some pressure which is getting generated due to the flow of distillate and due to this pressure so what happens is the vacuum which is getting generated in the receiver due to the vacuum pump. So it will get lowered. Like let's say here there is about 730 mm Hg of vacuum is being generated. And after entering this pre-condensing trap and it got reduced to 720 due to the presence of uncondensed vapors. And when it gets generated in the distillate collection receiver. So maybe there can be some work less and then hg and when the distillation process has started so what happens is let the distillate or the condensate is going to flow from the condensers and as there is a variation in height so there will be slight pressure generation which is being observed so you can calculate the pressure that is being generated using the formula delta p equals to rho into g into h so using this you can calculate the delta p depending upon the height and the height is going to be included here so g is the acceleration due to gravity so it is about 9.81 meter per second square and coming to rho this is the density of the liquid which is coming down and initially you got 700 mm hg and when the collection is going to increase so what happens is as the height is there so automatically the 700 might turn down to about 650 mm hg like it depends upon the height of a collection line and due to this reduced flow of vacuum into the collection receiver so automatically there will be some impact on the generation of boil up inside the reactor so this is the conventional mode and just to overcome this so we got a, another modified way that is where you will be having the vacuum balancing line and you will be providing vacuum to the system from the secondary condenser. So initially vacuum is going to get generated near the pump and then it goes through the pre-condensing trap and then we are going to generate this vacuum inside the system from the secondary, secondary condenser. That means first of all vacuum has to flow through the secondary condenser and then the same amount of vacuum is going to be generated in the primary as well as the receiver. So vacuum goes, vacuum flows through these lines.
so from this line it is going to flow into the primary condenser and you got a collection line through which vacuum is getting generated inside the receiver and then the vacuum flows from the primary condenser into the receiver through the vapor line and to maintain constant vacuum inside the reactor as well as receiver so we are going to arrange a vacuum balancing line so in the primary case or the conventional mode what happens is whenever the vacuum is going to be sorry whenever the condensate is going to flow from a condensers into the distillate collection receiver so there will be certain amount of pressure that is being generated due to the flow of distillate and at the same time what happens is due to the flow of collection distillate collection there will be some amount of uncondensed vapors which will be entering into the collection receiver and they will be sucked into the post condensing sorry pre condensing trap and it will be getting collected over here but coming to the case of a modified system with a balancing line so what happens is so initially vacuum is getting generated in the secondary condenser and then it is going to generate in the primary as well as receiver and then in the reactor so just to maintain the same vacuum inside the receiver what we are going to do is we are going to add a balancing line and whenever there is any uncondensed vapors that are getting escaped due to the pressure of collection flow so what happens is they will get accumulated in the receiver and just to suck out these uncondensed vapors from the distillate collection receiver so this vacuum balancing line is required so this vacuum balancing line what what it will do what it is going to do is it is going to suck out the uncondensed vapors and you will be getting the vapors here as the vacuum is going to be higher in the secondary condenser compared to the primary so again the vapors are going to be flowing into the secondary condenser and thereby you will be condensing the vapors in the secondary so again they will be flowing back into the receiver so what happens is whatever the vapors uncondensed that are getting condensed in the pre condensing trap in the conventional mode so those will be getting condensed in the secondary condenser itself thereby improving the efficiency of vacuum and also in increasing the recovery of solvents so this is why we are going to install a vacuum balancing line and also the effect of the uncondensed vapors on the pump is going to get reduced due to this pre condensing trap and the system is going to have a longer life compared to the conventional mode so this is the reason so we are going to install the vacuum balancing line and if you have any questions in this particular case so you can please write a mail to us at pharma calci 823 at rate gmail.com and i'll be attaching this pid in the description and you will be finding a download link to download this particular case so hopefully you have understood the video well and if you want to further contact us so please write a mail and if you like our content please like the video and also please subscribe to our channel please share the video with your dear ones so thanks for watching the video